Welcome inventors and patent pioneers. Intellectual property and the realm of patents is a new and exciting frontier for you. You've had your flash of genius. Now you can boldly go on your innovation journey to seek a patent for your unique and inspired creation. In other words, if you think you may have an invention worth patenting, then filing for a patent will be your next logical step forward on the road to joining the pantheon of patent holders. The United States Patent and Trademark Office is the right place to start if you're thinking about filing a patent application but aren't sure how to do it. The USPTO is your one-stop shop. You can find the answer to all your particular patent questions right here. Let me walk you through an overview of the patent application process so you can begin to get your ducks in a row. Uh, you know what I mean. You can prepare for what comes next each step of the way. Before you go too far, Understand that you can't just patent any idea. You have to have an invention for a process, a machine, something that can be manufactured, or even a composition of matter, or an improvement to an existing invention. Your invention should have a purpose or solve a problem. Maybe it is smaller, faster, less expensive, quieter, or environmentally friendlier than anything else like it. Of course an invention can't defy nature. Everyone knows that. If you want to make a prototype, that's one way you can show the invention is useful and really works, but it's not required. Consider making a business plan before you even think about filing. Ask yourself who will buy your invention, what their buying habits are, and how much they will pay for it. Many resources are available to help you study the market. Start with the internet and public libraries. You can read magazines and journals and even do a search of already published applications and patents. Check out businessusa.gov for additional resources. The searching that you did to prepare your business plan can also help you with a patent search. For more assistance, you can also visit USPTO headquarters, your nearest USPTO satellite office, or the closest patent and trademark resource center. And hey, you can visit us online too. Because before you file a patent application, you should make sure somebody else didn't think of it first. Did you really invent something new? No need to reinvent the wheel. You did invent something new or improved? Well, look at you go. If it really is novel and not obvious, then you may be ready to file a patent application so that your intellectual property is protected. If you file a patent application all by yourself, the USPTO recognizes you as a pro se inventor. There are resources like this video designed to help you. You can go it alone but keep in mind the process requires persistence and determination. Consider the help of a registered patent agent or attorney to assist you. The application process is likely to go more smoothly and with fewer mistakes if you seek representation. I'm just saying. You've made it this far in understanding the patent process and there are still a few more important things to consider. It's not one size fits all for a patent. In fact, there are three types of patent applications, utility, plant, and design. A utility patent is for an invention such as a process, a machine, something that can be manufactured, or even a composition of matter. Plant patents are for plants that are asexually reproduced, and a design patent covers the ornamental design of an object or what's applied to it. For design patents, your invention will be protected for 15 years. And for plant and utility applications, in general, your invention will be protected from the date of filing for 20 years. Say what? That's right, 20 years! That is, of course, if a patent is granted. Visit USPTO.gov to learn more about the types of patents. Now, my brave young patent pioneers, it is time to check out the checklist provided. Hey, hold up, I'm not done yet. So now that we've navigated through this challenging innovation journey, you might feel like an expert, or not so much. And if you're not feeling it, you can call the Inventors Assistance Center at 1-800-PTO-9199 or check the electronic filing system page at the USPTO website and you'll find descriptions and examples for each section along with contact info and pertinent patent particulars. So patent on, my fellow inventors, patent on.